Hello, West Maple Wolves. Mr. Bogiano here for your first asynchronous lesson or your first PE at home lesson of the school year. All right, so we are gonna start focusing on agility, okay? Agility is how quickly and easily you can move around objects or around people, all right? Dancers have great agility and athletes have great agility, okay? Now I'm gonna help improve your agility with a couple easy drills you can do at home. Now, I am using some cones to move around. However, you may not have cones at home. You can move, use anything else as landmarks, such as shoes, water bottles, uh, buckets, okay? Even little tennis balls or anything that's gonna stay put, all right? So, be creative, improvise, find different things at home that you can use as landmarks if you do not have cones, all right? So I'm gonna go over a few drills with you and then you guys can rewind and rewatch them before you go outside and practice them at home, okay? First one up is a basic one called a figure eight drill. So you're gonna start behind one cone or whichever object you are and you're gonna work on shuffling quick feet around the cone in a figure eight motion, all right? So I'm gonna use quick feet, I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna get low, I'm gonna keep my head up, go around the cone, and then in front and then behind each cone, all right? So quickly adjusting your feet, and then the faster you go, okay, the more you will improve, all right? So that is number one. All right, the next drill is a four cone drill or a four landmark drill called the box drill, all right? So what you're gonna be doing here is moving around all four cones and then you're gonna return back, all right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna start at the green, I'm gonna sprint forward, get around the blue, shuffle to the orange, back pedal to the red, get down, touch the floor next to the cone, get up, sprint back to the orange, shuffle to the blue, back pedal to the through the green and then I am done, all right? Biggest thing is when you back pedal, you want to lean forward and look over your shoulder so you don't tip backwards. Got it? All right, so I'll give a little quick demo. Have someone say on your mark and set go. Sprint forward, get down low, shuffle, look over your shoulder, back pedal, touch the ground, sprint, shuffle, back pedal. All right, have someone with a little timer. You can make it as wide or as small as you want. Right here I had them about six feet in between each cone, social distancing. So that is the second drill, the four cone drill, all right? This next drill right here is called the five cone drill or the cross drill, all right? kind of in the shape of an X or a cross. So, you are gonna be working on sprinting, shuffling, and backpedaling as well, okay? I'll demonstrate how it works. I'm gonna start at the green, sprint forward to the orange, backpedal to the purple, shuffle to the red, shuffle to the blue, back to the purple, and then backpedal to the green. Then you are finished, okay? You guys can decide if you want to go left or right right away with your shuffle. All right? Try to go around the cones or at least next to you. Okay? Ready, go. So I'm going to forward, get low, get around, back pedal, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle to the back, back pedal, and then I'm done. Okay? So I have these at six feet apart again. You can make them eight feet, ten feet. All right? It's up to you. All right, the next drill I have for you is a zigzag drill. I'm really working on my quick plants and a head fake look one way and cut to the other on this one, okay? So what you're doing is you are trying to trick your opponent, okay, or your defender. Pretend you're going one way, plant, and then go the other way, okay? So I'm gonna start way back here. These are five cones about eight feet away from each other. You have one foot in front, one in back, good right position. Here you go.
Also with this drill, after you make your final plant at your final cone, someone can make a pass with a football, a tennis ball, a basketball, hockey stick, lacrosse stick, even a volleyball, any, any sport you guys do, all right? You can finish with a pass and a catch out of the last cone. It's up to you. Finally, I have a cone quick feet shuffle drill to end with where you're gonna just focus on feet. quick feet. All right, it's not how fast you get through it, it's how many chops you get with your steps in between each cone. So similar to the figure eight, only this time you're zigzagging, okay? I'm gonna start over here at the blue. On your mark, it's like, oh, I'm gonna chop my feet. Not touch a cone or a landmark. Head up, make sure I'm watching where I'm going. Okay, keep a good balance. Chop your feet, chop your feet, and finish strong. Okay? Any of these activities you can use towards any other sport. All right, I do a lot of these drills with my lacrosse players. You can have a lacrosse stick in your hand, you can be dribbling a basketball, dribbling a soccer ball, all right? Stick handling hockey stick. It's up to you. I hope you guys have fun with these.